that require traditional rulers and other people who are invited for these stakeholders meeting. The essence of this stakeholder meeting is to brief you of what is happening or what has happened in the past few weeks. And so it is important for you to have a first hand information and so that nobody will distort facts. Because you gave us your mandate. And if anything happens, we are supposed to brief you. We are your servants. We are your messengers. After the March and April 2015 general elections, which of course uh, people who, are, who won the elections were declared and returned, the opposition party in the state, being the All People's uh, All Progressive uh, Congress, went to the tribunal. Now, River State is the only state that had not less than three National Assembly Tribunals. We have Tribunal 1, Tribunal 2, and Tribunal 3. And for governorship, we have one. For House of Assembly, we have four. So, the matter has started. And it's important to let you know that at the end of the day, the federal tribunals concluded the assignment and of course gave verdict. At the National Assembly level, two elections were nullified. That is a senator of and they gave them in the quarter of federal constituency. Bonnie, they gave them federal constituency. While the other ones, the elections were upheld. Then for the governorship election on the 24th of October, which was last Saturday, the tribunal notified the governorship election. And then on the 26th, being Monday, the tribunal notified 19 House of Assembly seats as against the 31 seats that PDP had. And so, so many people had interpreted the judgment in various ways. But just what we want to let you know is that nobody has said I should leave the seat at Governor of River State. <laughs> that I have 21 days within which to appeal the judgment of the tribunal. If after 21 days I don't appeal, then it means that obviously one had to leave the seat. But be assured that by the grace of God, our lawyers are working hard to make sure that they file their appeal. Now, I have told people that it is not in our character to cast aspersion on judges. And I've also told people not to speak on my behalf to castigate judges. The tribunal is not the final accurate court. We have the court of appeal and we have the supreme court. So there is no need of casting aspersion or castigating the judiciary. So I just want people to know that we are not one of those When judgment favors you, you say you have confidence in judiciary. When judgment does not favor you, you've lost their confidence. 
And so I want to say clearly that in the past two days you may have read on front, line, on front pages of newspapers where they say that say judicial terrorism and judicial gang up. I never said so. And I never authorized anybody to speak on my behalf as far as that issue is uh, concerned. When we had a thanksgiving, I did say that we must not cast as passion and said so. So people should try to hold themselves and know that if you believe in God, then you have nothing to fear. Oh. So I felt I should let you know, and those of you who are always worried, relax yourself. When getting worried, you have a high BP, you will die. <laughs> but, never said we will continue to move forward. So I will plead with you to have the understanding that as you mean they even give me to write that judgment, I will have my own view. If they give another person here, he or she will have his or her own uh, view. So the only way you can, if, if you don't agree with the judgment, is to appeal, and which is what we are doing. Even their members, those of them who lost at the National Assembly, they have also appealed. So let us calm down and continue to put our knees on ground and continue to pray to God that at the end of the day, victory will be ours. Yeah. Also important to let you know that during the tribunal period, the tribunal had ruled that all paragraphs that had to lead to accusations that borders on crime, that borders on security, that those paragraphs should be expunged. <coughs> but it looks like along the line, whether they remembered or not, that those paragraphs were still used as part of the judgment. So ABC appealed to the Court of Appeal to retain those paragraphs. Yesterday, the Court of Appeal, the Court of Appeal dismissed their yeah, appeal. <laughs> so we believe that all hope are not lost. So I decided that it would be important for us to let you know. Yes, there could be one or two distractions, but Going to tribunal is part of the democratic uh, process. It is not complete until after all application. That when you know that the democratic process is completed. So I uh, teach all of you to continue the law abiding and go about your normal businesses and normal business. I know that it is not everybody in this world. Everybody has its own reason and our own reason. It's not everybody gives up that we just want us. It's natural. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. natural. So, so, I'm not, I'm not carried away by the array of cells I've seen here. There are some people who say, let him go because he wants to remove my stool from me. Such things are there. There are some who say you are not appointed commissioners. Okay, so I mean to be a lot of us go. <laughs> so there are those who say that look, I tell you remain the caretaker chairman. Since they've not given a lot of us go to. <laughs> so everybody here, individuals here, will have our own difference. So I'm aware of all those things. So but one thing that's important is that the interest of River State for the Parliament as all the So sincerely, I thank the traditional realm led by the Amanabo of Okoko, the way you've led your council, the support you have given with your 